To make your own mushroom, you'll need thread, a hand sewing needle and scissors, fiber fill or some other stuffing, and your cutout pattern pieces. You can find the free pattern for this linked in the description below. This is an optional step, but if you'd like to decorate your mushroom cap, do this first. I'm using some large French knots to make the bumpy spots you see on the mushrooms. To make a French knot, pick up a tiny bit of the cloth with your needle and wrap your thread around the needle a few times before pulling the needle through. I'm making my knots rather large and messy so I'm wrapping the thread around 7 or 8 times and it ended up looking like this. Now begin with your two stem pieces. Hold them with the right sides or the outsides together. The linen I'm using doesn't have a right or wrong side so you can't see the difference. You can also pin your pieces together at this point. Use a tiny running stitch or a stem stitch or whichever hand sewing method you prefer so long as it produces a tight and secure seam. My seam allowance or the distance from the edge of the fabric to the seam is about an eighth of an inch. Continue working around in this manner until you're about an inch and a half or so away from the top of the stem. Turn your piece and begin to stuff. Once it's partially stuffed, turn your seams in and use a ladder stitch or a whip stitch to sew the rest of the way up the stem. I feel like because this mushroom has a slightly rustic feel, it won't matter if you see the stitches. Once you've stitched to the top, continue stuffing your entire stem. If you need to, use the end of a pencil or a knitting needle to pack your stuffing in. Now you can set that aside and we'll begin on the mushroom cap. Take the large circle or the gill piece and baste around the outside edge. Gather so that the circumference of the outer edge matches the circumference of the smaller cap piece. Do this about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Now match the edges of the gills and the cap making sure your gathers are even and either hold these together or pin them together. Again, make sure your right sides are facing and that the wrong sides are facing out. Using your preferred sewing method, stitch around the edge with about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Once you've stitched all around, turn your mushroom cap, then baste around the inner edges of the gill and gather them slightly. Once it looks like this, begin to stuff your mushroom cap and gather the edges as you do this. Now you're ready to place the stem in the cap. Use a ladder stitch to sew into the cap, then into the stem, and continue alternating like this until you've sewn all around. As you do this, stitch about a quarter inch of away from the edge of the gills and about half an inch away from the edge of your stem. When you feel like your stem and cap are securely attached, tie a knot and bring your remaining thread through the mushroom, clipping off any excess. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this and will check out some of my other videos. If you have something artsy or crafty or gardeny that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. If you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and do it. I try to post weekly or at least sort of weekly and when you subscribe and turn on your notifications, you will be, well, notified as soon as this happens.